Hello, my dear students. In this class of English, we are going to learn all the important questions and answers from the chapter "The Enemy." This is the chapter which is there in Vistas from class twelfth book, and the chapter's writer is Paul S. Buck. Okay, so this might come in your MCQ. Keep in mind. Now we will move towards the theme. Let me tell you, children. I have written your answer in points, but in the examination you have to use these points as the main content, and you have to turn it into a sentence. Okay? Don't just copy the shortcut form that I have used out here. Let's start with the theme. The theme of the story is. It talks about the conflict between man's inherent humanness. and the hatred and prejudices created by pseudo nationalism and war here you need to understand that humanness is there in human being already when they are born okay but as they grow what happens because of the environment that they grow in they create hatred against people they have prejudices about their nationalism okay they segregate themselves from the rest of the world therefore the problem crops up so the theme is conflict of man and then we find conflict because of nationalism okay next point is illogicality of war in the story we find futility or uselessness of war because whoever wins in the war lots and lots of destruction we get to see during the fight therefore resources are destroyed human beings lose their life and earth loses maximum resources so whoever wins they won't be able to bring back the losses that different countries have made therefore wars are illogical okay let's move towards the message of the story the message that we find in this story is deglorification of war indirectly it talks about the futility of war therefore it is an anti war story okay which does not glorify war all right the soldiers might be brave the soldiers might be gallant but the reason of the war should be avoided without questioning the bravery of the soldiers next point is humanness in war see in the war the countries become enemies obviously okay so even if the enemies are entrapped by opposite nationalities they should not show inhumanness on them we have read in the newspaper and we have heard in the news channel that soldiers body were tortured they were burned with cigarette they were cuts their organs were removed okay so that should be avoided in war therefore it talks about universal brotherhood the message is that to promote universal brotherhood throughout the world next patriotism and the medical profession the chapter talks about the patriotism which every citizen should have and then the profession or professional ethics a doctor can never leave a patient dying in front of him so that is the dilemma which is discussed here and the message is that to rise above the caste creed and sex which demarcates or which isolates different nationalities from the rest of the world it also talks about doctors have no nationality no religion doctors and patients their relationship is eternal doctors must treat patient whoever it is even if it is a criminal they should treat them in order to save it let's move towards the question now first question is why was dr sadao not sent to the battlefield the answer should be general takima was ill and might need an operation any time 
see children you have to keep in mind who was the general what was his name this is for mcq okay general's names were general's name was takima and he was ill he had some gall bladder problem therefore he had been under operation for many times therefore dr sadao was not sent out because he was the one who was treating general takima okay and another reason was that sadao was perfecting a discovery which was likely to render wounds entirely clean another reason of his stay in japan was that dr sadao was working on a research topic okay which renders wound entirely clean so in order to complete this discovery he had stayed there next point is his presence in japan was indispensable now how it has become indispensable indispensable means extremely necessary see general takima had won so many wars and battles for japan okay so in his generalship what happened japan was able to receive lots of victories so dr sada was the man who was saving the life of general takima therefore sada was given a lot of importance okay he was doing discovery and he was considered and he was not taken away from general takima because if dr sada will not treat general takima then takima might die that was the threat that general takima and other people had therefore he was there in japan now let's move to the next question why did sadao and hana not marry heedlessly in america heedlessly means without checking carefully okay heedlessly means minutely discussing all its positive aspects and negative aspects all right so here it was related to marriage of dr sadao let's see what happened sadao's father was a downright japanese traditionalist obviously we have already read in the chapter that dr sadao and his father used to go for a evening walk on the beach of the sea and they used to discuss especially father used to teach him so many things he used to say that islands are connectors of japan to the rest of the world because japan is an island country and it needs to connect with the rest of the world otherwise it will be isolated otherwise it will be aloof from the progress of the world therefore he was close to his father next japanese traditionalist his father was a staunch follower of his tradition he wanted rules and regulations to be followed strictly father would not have accepted any other caste father would not have agreed for intercaste marriage therefore he wanted to know whether hana was japanese or not okay and this was being done because he respected his father a lot he didn't want to dismay or he didn't want to give pain to his father just because he loved a girl in america okay so what he did first of all he understood whether hana is a japanese or not when he saw she was then only he proceeded for rest of the things like making her his sole partner okay let's move to the next page sometimes little things in life become vit very vital how would you justify it from the chance first meeting of sadao and hana so here you have to mention Dr. Sadao met Hana by chance in the American professor Harley's house. So, children, here you have to keep in mind the professor's name was Harley, and Sadao had taken shelter in his rented room, and there only, when he felt disgusted about the food and other things, at that time Hana came to his life, which changed his entire future. Next point is. he had decided to leave that house as the room was congested and the landlady was so voluble so here the room was very the room was small and the landlady was very voluble voluble means very talkative 
So for a student, it was very difficult to handle with this landlady. Therefore, Sadao had almost decided to leave the house. Not only that, the food was also disgusting. But a short meeting became vital and later culminated in the lifelong union of Sadao and Hana as husband and wife. So in his house only, he met with Hana and it became lifelong union. Sadao married Hana and then they were husband and wife till now and they led their life happily. Let's move to next question. Who was the misty figure? How did the doctor and his wife establish his identity? The first point in the answer should be the misty figure who had been washed ashore was an American prisoner and he was badly wounded. Next point should be he was tortured as well. He was wounded by the sea but he was tortured by the Japanese troops. Not only that he was shot from behind. Maybe he was trying to escape from the prison. That is why he was shot from behind. But somehow he was saved. His flesh had been scrapped by the dangerous spiky rocks near this shore. Needle-like rocks, very sharp rocks, tried to kill that man brutally. Okay? It means the nature also wanted to kill that prisoner of war, but he survived. Now next question's answer. His identity as a U.S. sailor was established from the faint lettering on his battered cap. The cap of the soldier showed the identity of U.S. Navy. Okay, let's move to the next question. How and why did Dr. Sadao stop the bleeding of the injured man on the beach? What dilemma did Dr. Sadao and his wife have to face soon after? The first point should be medical instinct and ethics made Dr. Sadao stop. Stanch means stop the bleeding. He didn't want to see at first who was he, whether he was from America, Korea or somewhere else. Okay, The first thing was that he was a patient in front of him whom he had to treat and that is what he did being a doctor. He packed the wound with the help of wild sea moss to stop the bleeding momentarily. Whatever he had found at that time with that, which was grass and other things, he stopped the bleeding for time being. After that, he had dilemma because he was a prisoner of war and he was from enemy country. So this was the dilemma which Dr. Sadao and Hana had to face. Let's move to the next question. What makes Hana comment, we must think of the children and your position? See, Hana was a very dedicated wife and she was very simple lady as well. She didn't know how to trick people. She was not a cunning lady. Okay, She is a devoted housewife and she was very scared of arrest. She knew that if anybody will know about this uh, sheltering of the prisoner, then entire family will be arrested. It will bring defame or bad reputation to the doctor and his family because he will be considered as a traitor. Okay. Now, she was very much concerned about children's future as well because if their father is jailed, Dr. Sadao is jailed, then obviously children will be called as the children of a prisoner. Okay? And traitor as well. So that was the thing which troubled Hannah. Now see, doctor's career will be at a stake because he will be housing a prisoner of war. Next point is that here she expressed strong reservation about sheltering. Now see, after getting this man inside the house, for time being it was okay. She thought that he will be treated and he will go back. But that did not happen. He had to stay there because there was no alternative at that moment. Therefore, she expressed her reservation about the sheltering. Okay. Next question is, what makes Dr. Sadao comment, 
this man must have extraordinary vitality. See, the American prisoner of war was shot from behind. He was bold. He was bullet ridden. It was American soldier who was badly wounded. He had bullet in his body, which Doctor Sada was trying to take out. See, he survived in all adverse condition. He was chased by the Japanese army. Not only that, he was there inside the sea. The sea could have taken him to somewhere else. Wild animals would have eaten him up, but that did not happen. He survived. It was not less than a miracle. And had there been somebody else, they would have collapsed very easily. But the man survived. Okay, the prisoner survived. That is why he commented that he must be having extraordinary vitality, extraordinary strength, because of which he survived through all the odds. Okay, let's move to the next question. Why do you think Hana believes that the man is a menace, living or dead? See, she is not a cunning lady, as I have told you, and she is not insensitive as well. But when she looked at her children and her husband, beloved husband, at that time, she was taken aback. See, sheltering an enemy is a criminal deed. That is true. Even if we Indians try to keep our enemy country's uh, wanted person, okay, then what will happen? We will be liable to be jailed, right? The same thing is happening here. See, they will be punished according to the law. If he dies, doctor fails. If the injured man dies, injured prisoner dies, then doctor will fail as his duty is to save any patient. Okay? But if he survives, doctor will be arrested. Hana thought that if he survives, if the prisoner survives, then doctor will be arrested because people will report about him to the authority and they will be captured they will be arrested for harboring or keeping inside the house an enemy okay that is why she said it is a menace living or dead even if he lives he will create a problem and if he will be dead then also it will create to his husband to her husband, sorry, okay, because he will be failing as a doctor. Let's move to the next question, which is very important one. How did the old gardener react when Sadao told him about the wounded American sailor? See, the gardener, old gardener who used to work since his father's days, okay, he became very upset and frightened as well. He was sad because Sadao's father never used any foreign item in his house but son had inserted a foreign man in his room itself that is why he was upset and he was frightened because he was from enemy country because of his appearance it was revealed he was full of anxiety old gardener was full of worries he was superstitious too Okay, now why he was superstitious, let's, let us find out. It was destined that the man should die. According to old gardener, the man was destined to die. Okay, the God has decided him to die because he was shot at the back. Okay, next point is he was wounded badly by the rocks. And rock is also entity of nature and then sea as well. Next, master went against the dictates of nature old gardener thought that master that is dr sadao went against the dictates that means went against the rules of nature that is why he was apprehensive about the situation okay i hope it's clear next question how did hana wash the wounded man why did she have to do it herself first of all she laid the enemy on the floor and this was the floor of the father's room. Okay. He was bare breast. Okay. His clothes were open and 
she untied knots the buttons were opened by hana took a small cleaning towel with hot water she started cleaning entire body upper section of the prisoner okay upper section of the body was cleaned by hana herself it is because yumi the children's governance denied to do the task okay yumi you must remember for this for mcq yumi is the servant's name okay of this adao family she used to look after children especially and she denied to clean that white man because even she was very much betrayed even she was very much sad by the dropping of atom bombs on two places of japan that is nagasaki and hiroshima so obviously she had hatred in her heart categorically refused to wash a white man yumi vehemently said that she is not going to clean the man at any cost therefore therefore she became very much frightened and this is how she cleaned the man let's move to the next question and it is this man there is no reason under heaven why he should live now see with whom dr sada was talking and what is the meaning of this line this man there is no reason under heaven why he should survive let's see the answer the patient is pow pow means prisoner of war okay keep in mind prisoner of war prisoner of war was badly wounded that we all know a worry and hexison for doctor a worry and vexation for doctor because if the patient will die he will question his identity as a doctor and if the patient becomes happy healthy wealthy then obviously they are going to respect the doctor okay a worry vexation for the doctor saving him was a challenge harboring him with will lead to his arrest this concern was also there keeping that man inside the house is not legal especially when it is a war time and he is from enemy country therefore he totally denied dr sada was going through mental conflict at that time dr sada was going through mental conflict because he was thinking whether to stay there or go back home his treatment was an ultimate test of patience first of all he was from enemy country he was badly wounded and whether he will survive or not there was a big question to the situation therefore therefore he was undergoing mental conflict at the same time hana became nauseatic because she had to give anesthesia to the patient and when the operation was going on doctor loses all control okay doctor loses all control and she was when hana vomited outside he was not able to go there that made him irritated an enemy who is causing hell lot of problem is being treated by him now see see the situation the soldier had come to this unknown place and because of unknown face or people what happened they lost their peace of life they were not able to go for roaming around they were not able to go out for dinner because he was totally occupied in a very important case dear children we will continue with our next set of questions in our next video this video has become a bit lengthy so please wait for our upcoming video for the question answer